Let's insert an inequality or equality statement and let's make this a true statement. Here we have four ninths, here we have 445 thousandths. In order to compare these two, let's write this fraction as an equivalent decimal. Remember this means division, so I'll divide 9 into 4. Let's divide 9 into 4 and I'll put a decimal point and we'll see how many zeros we need. All right, there's the decimal point in the quotient. How many times does 9 divide into 4? That's 0 times. Since it's to the left of the decimal point, I can or cannot write that 0 down. Then how many times does 9 divide into 40? Well, I know 4 times 9 is 36. I'll subtract, I'll get 4, and I'll bring down the 0. Now so far, that's 4 tenths, 4 tenths, so they're the same. How many times does 90 go into 40? Uh, hopefully that sounds familiar to you. It goes 4 times. 4 times 9 is 36. Once again, and I subtract, and I have 4. Can you see that this will continually happen? Actually, if I kept dividing, it would happen for the rest of my life. I will stop, though, but I want you to notice, I'll place a bar over there. This, these 4's will continue to be generated. So let's now compare these. The tenths are the same. The hundredths are the same. Notice this thousandths place is greater than this one, which means this decimal is greater than the fraction 4 ninths. So I have 4 ninths is less than 445 thousandths.